are the people who live in the euro area ready to start spending again? You're watching Dukascopy TV. I'm Sophia Aribo. EU consumer confidence figures are out later today, and after a surprise bump in April, will the new report show customers in Europe are still upbeat? Or will fears over eurozone deflation dampen the mood? On the line to tell me what he thinks will happen is Gottfried Steindl of Rifeson Bank International. Gottfried, if consumer confidence increases again, will this have any effect on what ECB head Mario Draghi decides to do when it comes to the Eurozone's low inflation? President Draghi or the ECB as a whole won't be uh, less interested uh, in the headline figure, so they are of course happy that uh, consumer confidence is improving. But they will have a closer look at some details, above all inflation expectations of consumers. And we uh, can see that inflation expectations have fallen, above all in Italy, but this, they are the lowest in, in Cyprus. And they have come back in, in, in countries like Spain as well. So what they will actually judge from the figures is whether consumers are now expecting falling prices for a longer term. Still, uh, the ECB has uh, made clear that they are about to act in June and they del will deliver for sure a rate cut and maybe some more liquidity action. Or not maybe, it's actually clear that uh, we will have some liquidity fooling measures. Breaking down the data for the individual Eurozone countries, we can see consumer confidence falling or flatlining in France and Germany, the Euro area's powerhouses, and increasing in Italy and Spain. What story do these figures tell us? First of all, we have to uh, go into details how such confidence indicators are actually composed. So consumers are asked whether their situation is improving or is deteriorating. So we start from a rather low level in Spain, and I think the labor market situation or even the economic situation in, in Spain is improving. So if you're asked this question, you will always give a positive note on this. But this still does not mean that your uh, personal situation or the economic situation is good. So improving means that the momentum has turned, which is good, uh, but we should not read out of these service that we are already at a very positive environment. I think that in Germany, as you uh, called it, powerhouse is named well. It's a highly competitive economy and it's delivering high growth rates. I think for France, the role as a powerhouse has been lost. We have some structural problems, uh, some longer term problems. And if you look at recent uh, growth figures, France is actually stagnating. And this also is true for consumer confidence. Stats for euro area unemployment show the number of people out of work has fallen since last year, but only marginally. How do you explain the increase in consumer confidence, Gottfried? For the euro area as a whole, we see a rather uh, moderate development, as you have outlined it. But there are considerable differences. Uh, still, I want to emphasize that if you look at consumer confidence uh, questions, it's momentum indicators. This is especially true for Spain. We have a uh, unemployment rate in Spain. We have a lot of people out of job. But if you look at the component, the so assessment of consumers to get unemployed in the next 12 months or their uh, view about their job perspectives, has turned for the better. This simply tells us that the momentum has turned for the better, uh, but this does not, uh, does not mean that the situation is good. So there is a difference between employment figures and unemployment figures in such confidence indicators. That's all we have time for. Thank you, Gottfried. For in-depth coverage on the Japanese interest rate decision, be sure to watch Kiri Bloor's interview.